there, I'm Josh, a senior support engineer here at Papercut Software. Today this video is going to go through how to set up and configure the print archiving feature of Papercut on Windows Server 2012. Before enabling print archiving, you need to consider a few things, such as disk space on your local and your backup servers, CPU load, particularly on low resourced VMs, and the privacy and data access of those backups. To get started, we need to download Ghost Trap from the Papercut website. This program is an open source software that's supported by Papercut Software and is responsible for converting print jobs into images that you can browse through. Once downloaded, simply install the application. Once that's been installed, you'll need to enable print archiving in Papercut. To do this, Head to your Papercut administration interface, log in, and go to the Options tab. Then scroll down to the Print Archiving area. Select the Enable Print Archiving tick box. This is a good time to review the size management options as well, such as only keeping archives for 30 days and stopping the archiving if space on your server falls below 2000 megabytes. If this is okay, then hit apply. That's it. Print archiving will now be enabled on all of your printers. To make sure it's working okay, you can do a few test prints to some different print queues and make sure the images are all appearing as you would expect. To see print archiving in action, head to the logs tab and you will see new images being generated from print jobs that you're starting to test with. For more advanced options of print archiving, you can head to the Options tab, scroll down to Print Archiving and click More Information. Some of these options include changing the backup location as well as learning how to download spool files and reprint them. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Papercut Support. Bye!